Hi friends! So I'm going to do a craft with you today and this craft has to do a lot with um, some of the scary maybe sad things that are happening right now. You're probably home a lot away from lots and lots of people you love and want to play with. So this craft is kind of a little hug from you to them without actually having to be near them. We're going to make a hug out of some paper, okay? We're going to use our hands to trace it out and a big long string that acts as our arms wrapping around our friends and family that we love. So for me, my mommy lives really, really far away from me. So I'm going to make her a hug that I can send. And it's going to be really great because afterwards you can ask a grown-up to help you mail them or you can walk over to your friend's house, put it in the mailbox, or drop it off somewhere where you guys don't have to get in contact. All right, so you're ready to get started? Again, you'll need your long piece of string, a paper, any color you want, some scissors, and lots and lots of markers because you're going to want to decorate it lots and lots and lots. Okay, so I'm going to set you up so you can see what's going on. All right. We are going to start the craft by tracing our hand. So put your hand on the paper. Just kind of fingers spread apart a little bit, okay? So you can make sure you can fit a pen in there. And I'm going to pick a color. I'm going to do purple because of my purple paper. I don't know if you noticed this, but purple is my favorite color. I want to keep in mind that this present isn't for me, though. It's for my mommy, so I want to use her favorite color. That is green. So after I do my purple hand, I'm going to use green because that's my mommy's favorite. Okay, I have one hand traced. I'm going to trace my other one. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to have to tilt my hand to fit it. You friends at home should be okay because you have tiny hands. But if an adult is doing it with you, they might have some trouble too. And always use two pieces of paper if you'd like to solve the problem. All right. So now I have my two hands drawn on the paper. Any guess what I'm going to do next? I'm going to cut them out. Okay, so you can try if your adult says you can, um, or you can ask for some help, okay? Whatever works best for you. So, here we go. I'm going to cut with my pink scissors. My pink scissors on my purple paper. Start down at the wrist. Just remember to go nice and slow, okay? It's not a rush. Cut along the line as close as you can get to it. Nice straight snips. If you make a mistake, you know what? That's okay. It happens. We all do that every once in a while. And we can just fix it. A new piece of paper, some tape, whatever you feel is best for your project. Maybe a sticker. Then it's like, what? What rip? There was never a rip. <laughs> So just take your time, cut out all the fingers, all around the wrist. I'm almost done mine now. I'm taking my time. That's how you know it's going to be nice and straight lines. And it helps you stay uh, focused. You don't get as frustrated maybe or as upset. Because I know cutting can be so hard. It works a lot of your little hand muscles. And you know what? Even works my big hand muscles. They still need to get some exercise. All righty, righty, righty. So I have two hands. They're my hands. And they're all cut out. Now it is time to decorate them. So you can do anything you want on these hands. You can make them look like somebody's hands, maybe paint the nails, put a bracelet on. Um, you could just be silly and just use this. any old piece of paper, draw whatever you want, put stickers on it. 
What you do have to make sure you do if you're mailing it is you leave a blank side, okay? So a grown-up can write all the special instructions for how to deliver it to your friend or family's house. We have the address there, all right? So get going, start decorating. I'm gonna decorate mine. Put your back up here so you can watch me. Okay, and like I said before, my mommy's favorite color is green. So I'm gonna try to use lots of green and maybe a little bit of this yellow orange as well. It's nice and bright. For now, I'm just gonna start doing some swirls on my mommy's hand. Swirl, dot, I like that. Just doing some designs. Being fun with it, I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, just doing some swirls and designs. What can you come up with? Maybe you'll have a smiley face on each finger or a different letter. Maybe you can spell somebody's name or your name. Yeah, that would be lots of fun. You should try to put your name on the hands. And even if you can, try to practice your address. Your growing up can help you with that one too. Okay, I can't wait to see them. I'm gonna finish up mine now. <laughs>